Hi everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited. We are going to try to make Luke's donuts. I'm really excited because I've never made homemade donuts before. So that's exciting and this looks like a really good step-by-step -step instruction to doing donuts. So I'm really excited to get started. It's kind of a long process because there's a little bit of rising, a little bit of waiting. But I think it'll be worth it in the end because then we have donuts and everybody loves donuts. So I hope you enjoy following along with me today. I'm ready to make some donuts. Let's go. Okay, real quickly, we're going to start by putting some yeast in this bowl right here and then sit for a sec. Then we're going to give it some food. This is two packets of active yeast. let those guys sit in there for a minute. Okay, in this pan we're going to put a cup of milk and three tablespoons of water. And we need to let that heat to about 120 degrees. That's not boiling. So we have a candy thermometer that's going to tell me when it's about there. Okay. Right there with the milk. And just move it off the heat. We're going to add a quarter cup of sugar here. And we're going to let dissolve in there, which won't take long. Alright, that's pretty well dissolved. And now we're just going to pour it onto the yeast and let it sit for about 5 to 10 minutes. I think that's supposed to feed the yeast and get them going. And it says, do not stir. So I guess we just got to let the yeast do their job here. So in the meantime, we're going to put in our four cups of flour and our half a teaspoon of salt in here and kind of blend it together. All right, just a half a teaspoon of salt. We're just going to combine it to evenly distribute the salt. Okay, put that aside for a moment. Okay, here you can't see it, but I have a half a cup of melted shortening in here. It's still a little warm, so I gotta whisk the eggs pretty quickly into it so they don't cook in the shortening. Okay, we're whisking that together. And we're actually going to put this into the yeast mixture. We'll whisk it together until it's fully combined. I can really smell that yeast now. It really grew into that sugar and milk mixture there. Okay, we're going to take about a third of the flour mixture and put it in here and mix it a little bit. Then we're going to add a little more and mix a little more and so forth.
Okay, I got that well incorporated. Now we're gonna knead about 25 to 30 times and get this all, and get this good. I'm not gonna make you watch me do this 25 to 30 times, so let's skip ahead. Okay, I'm back after that workout, and now I need to cover this with a dishcloth and let it rise for about 60 to 90 minutes. So, I will be back. All right, the dough is about double its side. I just punched it down. Now I have a not, the, my lightly floured surface again, and now we're gonna roll out the dough to be about an inch thick. I just get, realized I was gonna need way more room than I initially thought, so I had to rearrange. All right, well, that's like about an inch thick. Maybe a little less, hopefully I didn't roll it out too much. And I have a donut cutter. And this one actually has the middle to it, but if, you're, if you just use a circle and then a top of like a two liter bottle, to do the middle, that would work as well. So we're gonna go ahead and cut the donuts. And I'm putting them on my cookie sheet, it's lined with parchment paper. I'm gonna put the holes to the side for now. recipe was unclear as to how many donuts I'm supposed to expect. I'm assuming it's a dozen because that would be perfect. I'll fast forward here so you don't have to watch the whole thing. Okay, so I ended up with 14 total and now I need to let them rise again for another 30 to 40 minutes. I just use a plate for these two so I didn't use a whole nother cookie sheet. So, in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and make our strawberry glaze for the donuts. I already have two cups of confectioner's sugar in here. I'm gonna add three tablespoons of milk. We're gonna keep it handy in case I need a little bit more. I have a tablespoon of melted butter and two teaspoons of strawberry imitation flavoring. This is the first time I've used this so I'm pretty interested to see what it's like to use it. All right, let's mix it together till it's nice and smooth. These are glazed donuts, not frosted donuts, so they're not going to have that thick layer of frosting that you're used to seeing on sprinkled donuts. So it doesn't have to be pink either. But if you want to make it pink, just add some red food coloring, you know. All right, let's get the lumps out and our glaze is ready. All right. I'll be back to fry our donuts after they're done rising. Okay, I'm waiting on this oil. It's actually shortening the uh, melting. There's four cups of it. I'm waiting for it to melt and become and heat till 360 degrees. And then we're gonna start cooking our donuts. We're gonna fry them two at a time, one minute on each side or until it turns golden brown. You let it drip for a little bit. Dip it in the glaze and put it on the cooling rack. All right, right there at 360. Let's fry our first donut.
<laughs> this one got a little deformed, but I'm sure it still tastes okay. Looks like a number nine. Alright, first one. Shake off the excess oil. Dip it in the glaze. I think I made that one a little too dark. Okay, that one looks a little better. Still a little dark. I think I did better on the glaze with that one. And of course, while it's still wet, I'm going to sprinkle. pretty good. Let me go ahead and cook up the rest of these donuts and then we'll try them. Um... Okay, here are my beautiful donuts. Some of them ended up a little bit funky looking and I do have this little apostrophe guy over here. I won't lie. I almost snuck it and ate it on you but I remembered I need to give you guys my first impression. And as you can see I have some Christmas trees and my sprinkles because I did use Christmas sprinkles. It's February, but they are only sprinkles. So you use whatever sprinkles you have on hand or go get you some special ones. You know what I've been waiting on? A sample of one of these donuts. This one's still warm. They do feel harder on the outside than I'm used to donuts being. They're not very cake-like. So I am curious to know what the inside looks like, of course. But, let's try it. It's cooked perfectly. I need more frosting on it. But, the glaze is good. Strawberry glaze, really good. Like I said, the outside's pretty crispy. But, this is delicious. And I know that when my family comes home tonight, they're going to be ecstatic to have some homemade donuts, and I'll be happy to share it with them. I hope you guys have fun sharing your donuts and making your donuts. It really was not that hard. It was time consuming only because of all the waiting to rise, but the ingredients are simple. There are things I had on hand. I didn't have to run out to get anything, and, and now I have a great donut. It was a little different for me to fry in shortening rather than vegetable oil or butter, but that turned out okay too. I'm sure there's a good reason to use shortening, and it's turned out good. So don't forget to subscribe because I have more fun things coming up for you, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye!